Hi, this is Rob Seufel from Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. I'm honored to be given the opportunity to speak at this year's Mortimer M. Borton Lecture at the 2024 Tandem Meetings in San Antonio. Over 30 years ago, Dr. Borton was the senior author on one of the most recognized manuscripts in the field of transplantation. The IBMTR's analysis linking the development of GBHD to a reduction in leukemia relapse. Generations of transplant investigators since have sought strategies to decouple GBH and GBL. Indeed, the very first Borton lecture, delivered by Dr. Robert Truitt in 2004, dealt with this very topic. In some respects, we've succeeded, at least in the context of acute leukemia. Trials of post-transplant cyclophosphamide, ATLG, and ex vivo T-cell depletion have all demonstrated that rates of chronic GBHD can be substantially reduced without compromising leukemia control. Unfortunately, we've made little to no progress in identifying what specific cell or cells in the graft mediate GBL, nor the targets against which those cells are directed. As such, we've been stymied in our attempts to rationally design approaches with sufficient precision that could reliably and safely promote allergy activity against tumor targets. Yet, with the development of new technologies to identify both GBL effectors and antigens, we may be on the precipice of succeeding in this quest, so that 20 years from now at the Morton Lecture, we are not wrestling with the same issues as had Dr. Truitt two decades ago. I hope you'll join me for my lecture, In Search of the Holy Grail, Decoupling GBL and GBH, Deja Vu All Over Again, where I will explore these issues. I invite you to register for the 2024 Tandem Meetings and attend the Borton Lecture. Happy New Year.